imagine this. You're strolling through Facebook Marketplace, maybe looking for, I don't know, used furniture. And then you see it. Something totally unexpected. Uh -huh. An electric pickup truck. A really, really rare one. Listed for like half its original price. Yeah, less than 300 miles on it, too. Practically brand new in terms of mileage. It's wild. And this isn't just some random EV. It's the Lordstown Endurance. Exactly. A name that probably rings a bell for anyone following the EV startup space. A lot of hype. And then, well, problems. Right. So we found this great article detailing this specific truck showing up for sale. And our mission today really is to unpack this whole situation. What was the endurance? What made it interesting? What made it tricky? Yeah, why is it so darn rare? Yeah. And maybe most importantly, what are you really getting into if you think about buying this, yeah. this piece of history? Or maybe just a very expensive paperweight. It's definitely a fascinating look at, you know, the sharp end of trying something new in the car world. Big risks involved. Huge risks. It really shows how fast things can change when you're pushing new tech. Absolutely. So let's start with the basics of this find. It popped up on Facebook Marketplace, you said? Yep, Facebook Marketplace. The seller is apparently located in Linden, Michigan. And the condition? Basically untouched. Pretty much. The listing says less than 300 miles. I mean, that's nothing. Delivery miles, almost. And the price really jumps out at you, $32,000. Right, $32,000, which sounds... Potentially amazing until you see the original window sticker. Which was? $65,520. $65,520. So, yeah. Exactly half price. Precisely half. So, on paper, you're thinking, half price for a modern electric truck with no miles, sign me up. You would think that. Mm. But uh, there's a lot more to the story, as the article makes really clear. The Lordstown Endurance, it comes with baggage. Definitely. Okay, so let's back up a bit. Remind us, what exactly was this truck supposed to be? So it was designed as a full-size electric pickup, built or intended to be built in Ohio by Lordstown Motors. In that old GM plant. That's the one. And it had this one really unique piece of technology, something you basically never see on production cars. The in-wheel motors. That's the one. Four of them. An electric motor built right into the hub of each wheel. Super, super rare for anything that actually gets sold to the public. And having one motor per wheel, that automatically gives you all-wheel drive, right? Inherently, yeah. All-wheel drive. And the total power output, the peak, was claimed at 550 horsepower. Okay, so decent power, really innovative drive system. What about the rest of the specs? Battery. Charging. It had a pretty big battery pack, actually. 109 kilowatt hours. That's substantial. Comparable to other big EV trucks. It is. And the charging capability was okay, too. Up to 150 kilowatts on a DC fast charger, 11 kilowatts on level 2 AC charging. So, you know, modern standard.